bagels. Love the beebs. My hair right now. So, what a wonderful Grocery haul time. So first I found these crispy minis. I've never seen the sweet and thin ones before. So this is salted caramel, kind of shook. And then this one is cocoa crunch. I've been looking for new snacks and I'm hoping these are actually tasty. Then I got these muffins, bagels. These are the blueberry bagels that they bake at Save On Foods. Ooh, then they had their little shrimp kebabs on sale. This is mango chili. I like to cook these up in my air fryer and put them with jasmine rice. Then I got one of these. I haven't had one of these in a while. It's savory garlic pasta. You can put chicken and stuff with it, but I just eat it by itself. This garlic pull apart bread, $1.49. Snatched that. Bananas, these were cheap, 83 cents. For some reason, two of these apples were $4. I don't know why, I made a mistake, but it is what it is. Cream cheese for the bagels. Then I'm a sucker for tapioca pudding, and I normally get the to-go cups that just come in individual like pudding cups. But then I saw this, and I'm like, this is a cheaper version, and you can just kind of scoop it up in your own bowl. Ah, oh, tapioca pudding, this is the brand. So good. Then their bacon was on sale. Let me tell you what it was. I saved $4. Th these were $4 off. And then these were on sale for $12.91, a whole bunch of chicken wings. So I'm gonna make these in my air fryer and make salt and pepper chicken wings and um, chili. Thai sweet and spicy. That's my haul. Hope you enjoyed. Uh... <laughs> you guys. I just went to the post office and as I was driving here, I saw a garage sale sign. It is Saturday morning. It's not the warmest day, so I'm honestly kind of surprised someone's having a garage sale today. It's quite windy, but we're gonna try to hunt for this garage sale. I'm a little nervous, so that's why you're gonna come on this journey with me. They have a bright pink sign, so like I'm hoping they'll have them closer to their house as well. This will be the second garage sale of the season but i also don't know what time they opened so if they opened earlier i might have missed out on the good stuff oh i see it it's in the back alley okay that kind of makes me a little nervous but why not give it a try i'm going for it guys oh i'm nervous jeez where can i park okay i didn't show you guys anything because it sucked but i'm literally stuck in the back alley i'm just taking you along with me because i'm literally frightened okay so that was awful i feel like all of the garage sales that are at like the very beginning of the year when it's not even that warm yet are just people who are like rushing and just like wants random stuff gone like they had a whole bunch of like interesting toys they did have like some lego but i don't deal with lego had some cds but the cds were not it not it. So now I'm gonna go to Staples because my second, you know how I showed you guys that Lizzie McGuire print? That was the first go at it. My second try is ready to be printed. I'm hoping I got the measurements right this time so that there's no white around the border. So I'm gonna go pick that up and show you. It still has a white border around it, but it is smaller. It is a smaller the way this is just like on my chin it is a little smaller on the border so it's not awful i just don't understand how to make it complete i made this i made my print eight and a half by 11. the paper should be eight and a half by 11. so why is there a white border i have no idea i'm so confused it still looks cute though it's just not exactly what i had pictured okay i was gonna start uber eats delivering but the thrift store is right behind us and I can't just drive past the thrift store and not go in, so we're gonna go to the thrift store. Either I am going to make, I'm either gonna show you guys right now that I'm going to the thrift store or I'm gonna make this a Patreon video. So make sure you're following me on Patreon, you guys. Only $3 a month and you get extra videos from me.
you guys what I got. I got that Justin Bieber watch because it goes for like $20 on eBay and hello, it's Justin Bieber. So you got to get it for those of you who love the Biebs. And I was so close to getting that Barbie plug and play game, but it was $10. It was $10 and somebody was selling it online for only like seven. So it was not worth it. And then I looked it up on YouTube to see what kind of game it was to see if I wanted it for my personal collection. And it was like a pet game, but the graphics weren't great. It didn't look very fun, but it was very hard to leave it there. It was very, very hard. Maybe I'll find it again <laughs> for a cheaper price. Good morning, good morning. So today I'm running some errands to get some last minute stuff for the antique booth again. I need to get tags so I can um, price all of my like stuffed animals. I also need to get a paint tray. So when we paint the booth, we have a tray to put the paint in. Um, I'm also going to go to Walmart because I want to see what kind of outfits they have. Last time I was there, they actually had like cute stuff. I heard that Walmart in Canada like rebranded or got new management or something. So that's why there are cuter things now. It's giving more of a target, which is exciting. So I'm gonna show you guys what kind of cute things I can find in Walmart. So I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of my daily life. Rocket Mascara. I've used it in the past. It's really good and it's really inexpensive. It was only $6. Then since I am able to now remove my piercing, I got, I didn't know they sold Claire's items in Walmart. So I got these Claire's earrings because I wanted like little hoops to put in them. So I got those, but then I also just got these ones as well. I can put the little hoops in. I want to put these hoops in the first one, I, the first hole I have and then the butterflies in the second one. I thought that would be so stinking cute. Now we're gonna go to the dollar store. All right, Dollar Tree haul. So the first thing I got was this drink. My bestie actually sent this to our group chat yesterday saying this was bussin', saying it was really good. I wasn't even looking for it. It just kind of appeared to me. Um, this is a grape, a oh, grape. I thought this said grapeable this whole time. Grape Aid, Arizona. She said it was so good. So we're going to try it. See if she's right. I got two tags to put on some of my antique store items. Dentine ice bubble, um, Arctic bubble. I got a lint roller to keep in my car and a paint tray. Woo! Here's a little inside look at me putting tags on for the antique mall. So we have a number, my number is A392. I write a little description. I wrote that it works, I tested and it works and it is $20. And then it is ready to go in my booth. I have a lot of plushes going to my antique booth. This whole bin, this whole bin, this stuff, this bin. So if there's anything you guys want, get it before I take things off of my shop. So May 1st, a lot of items will be taken off my shop. I will put more items on my shop when I go thrifting and stuff, but I wouldn't, I wanna make sure this booth is like full of fun items to start and then I'll keep looking for other items. Guys, okay, that might be it for this video. Also, I took out my earrings that I got pierced, my hair right now. I took out the earrings that I got pierced in January because after 12 weeks, you can take them out. And so the earrings that you just saw me get, I put them in. I think they are so cute. Hopefully you can see them. Taking out the earrings that they put in your ears is so scary. You have to literally yank them out and hope you don't like rip your ear off. But I am in love with them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, it was a little bit of like packing orders and running errands, 
my next video will probably be my trip to the Calgary Expo. So that is like a comic convention. I'm going to be meeting Hayden Christensen from Star Wars and I'm going to be meeting Hopper from Stranger Things. So hopefully I can get some footage of that. I can't get footage of me meeting them or anything like that, but um, I'm going to be posting pictures on my Instagram at Kaylin Belcourt. So link in my bio to follow me there. And thanks again for watching. Bye guys. If it's up to me, you're all